On March 11, 1958, in the middle of the Cold War, a B-47 Stratajet bomber left a military base in Georgia bound for the United Kingdom, carrying several nuclear weapons, including a Mark VI atomic bomb, in case of an imminent nuclear war with the Soviet Union. It was then that pilot Earl Kohler saw a warning light in the cabin, which indicated trouble with the locking pin holding one of the bombs. Co-pilot Bruce Kulka descended into the storeroom and accidentally pulled the emergency release trigger. The bomb fell to the floor of the plane, and the doors opened because of the weight. The 30 kiloton bomb fell from a height of 15,000 feet over a residential neighborhood in Mars Bluff, South Carolina. Fortunately, it was unarmed and did not carry the nuclear compound, but the conventional explosive charge left a crater 23 yards wide and 36 feet deep which remains visible to this day. One family sued the Air Force and received the equivalent of $458,000 today.